What is going on, guys? Opulent Vision, road to sub-20, 15 consecutive Wednesdays in a row. Give it up. I appreciate you guys. Anyway, before we hop into the Q&A here, I have not yet reached a sub-20 average. I am so stinking close on this thing. However, I've realized I've got a couple solves in my like set of solves that are like 23, 24 second solves. The rest are actually sub-20. So I think if I figure out a way to get these solves out of my bit, that there will be some way to actually reach sub 20. So if you guys see anything on these like longer solves that I have that you, I guess, point out to me, I am definitely open to criticism on that. But as always, leave your Q&A questions for next week in the comments below and let's get into it. First question coming in from Victory Cuber says, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, but don't really know how to record my audio. So how do you record audio? And I apologize if I've answered this in the past, but what I do is I'll film the video get it into my editing software, and then I usually just overlay the audio like in a video like this. Um, believe it or not, I'm not actually answering the questions live while I'm queuing. That would be a bit tough to do. Um, but I guess a lot of people have questions regarding like microphones and audio. What do I use? I either go directly on my iPhone, which has pretty good audio itself, or I use my AirPods Pro. I think they're the version two, which again, also have very good audio for, I guess, overlays like this. So that's how I record audio. Rodrigo Exteria, I think I said that right. He said, do you consider making these lives instead of videos? If so, put the live chat on your screen. Um, I've done a lot of lives in the past. Um, again, I've, I've been very, very busy. I have a full-time job outside of YouTube, so I don't usually have a lot of time to do lives, which is the reason why I do these as like an actual video, because it gives me a chance to interact with you guys. I consider sometime in the future actually doing a live of like me practicing three by three where, you know, I can answer your questions live on screen and talk to you guys. So I guess don't cut it out for the future. I, I would definitely consider it. However, just for the sake of these videos, I just do them as a recorded video. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for the support on that. Mr. Docto Soka says, do you have a PC or is it just the laptop? I actually do have a PC. This is like my to-go work laptop. I don't really know the specs on it. It's a pretty hefty like architecture slash engineering PC, um, which is great for work, but it doesn't really do well for like gaming or any of that. It's okay for editing too, but again, it's in a different location that's not at my house directly, so I just don't use it for filming these videos. And it would kind of be hard to set up the camera to see the screen uh, in general with that. Cause I've got a pretty big, uh, like PC screen. I don't know how wide it is, but it's pretty dang wide. So man, I really just went off the rail there, but I do have a PC, not just the laptop looking to upgrade soon. Eventually though, Alex legendary says, can you speak another language? If not, which one would you like to speak? He also has a challenge, solve the three by three one handed or blindfolded. So Actually, at the end of the video, my little challenge of the day was me solving the three by three with one hand. So you'll see what kind of time I get at the end of the video. But I can speak quite a few languages. English, obviously. I speak, I'd say I'm halfway fluent in Mandarin. I'm fluent in French. I'm starting to learn Portuguese. And then I've got a couple other languages that I know all right, but I'm not too fluent in. Um, such as like I could keep up a conversation, but I just don't understand all the words in the language. Again, something I want to do maybe a couple years in the future is become more fluent at these extra languages. Um, but eventually, I guess we'll kind of see where we end up with that. But yes, I do speak other languages. Um, and I guess if you will leave comments in these languages that I do know, I am able to respond to you guys. Alex Zakuber says, where in your house do you film? So I'm going to go off the rails on this one as well, but I actually film in my office. Uh, right now, my house is pretty small. I've got an office bedroom and then all of the extra living spaces you need. However, I'm in the process of moving. Um, I mean, I'll get the keys to my new house here um, on. Well, actually, by the time this video comes out, I'll already be living there. So you might see a little, uh, I guess, me not filming as much in the next week or so. However, um, Man, yeah, I'm, I'm upgrading places. So I'm going to have a little bit bigger of a house. Not yet sure where I'm going to film, but I plan on having an office, potentially a second office just for filming these videos. So again, went off the rails with that. But to answer your question, I do film in my office. 
Hyla1 asks, how many competitions have you been to and when were they? So a lot of people have been asking this because they're trying to find my WCA account and see my times. Um, so let me answer his question first, then I'll get to that here. I've been to two competitions in my life. Um, they were both kind of in the Midwest of the USA. The first one was St. Mary's Scramble in like 2012. The next one was like in 2013, and it was like the... Man, I don't even remember the name of it, but it was a official Rubik's competition. I don't personally think it was a very good competition because the way they ran it was that the people in charge would hand scramble the cubes, just random scrambles. They weren't like all doing the same scramble for every solve for everybody, which was really weird because they do like five or six move scrambles, which were giving kids like a two second solve, which I mean, if you're a cuber, you know that that is unbelievable um and this was back in the day when the fastest solve in the world was felix zemdig's 5.55 or 5.56 i'm unsure what the time was but it was a five second solve and these kids were getting half that time so theoretically they had the world record but it wasn't a wca event it was a rubik's held event it was really really weird um so i don't really count that as a competition but to answer i guess the few of you who are asking about my wca account I don't actually have one because back in 2012, uh, when I went to an official WCA competition, uh, the issue was there was no WCA website back then, or at least that I knew of. Um, I don't think the WCA really required you to be like a member on the website or like they didn't log your times on the website if there was one. So, I mean, I'm not on the WCA official website, but it is pretty interesting. That is how long I've been cubing. So there's <laughs> that answer. Uh, Rafa Cuber asks, what equipment do you use for filming? Uh, I kind of answered the audio portion of it, but for actually filming the videos, I have two uh, 4K 60 frames per second digital cameras. One of them's a DSLR. The other one is a like flip up viewfinder vlogging camera. I've had back from the days I used to have a vlog channel. Um, I use those cameras and then we talked about audio and then I just use like a normal target tripod and then some really cheap Amazon lights that do the job extremely well. Um, besides that, I don't really have any other equipment for filming time for a couple more questions here. ARW cubing asks, how do you set up your cubes? Um, I've got a couple videos on my old setups, but I've been kind of playing around with how I do set up cubes. And the way I do this is I use like a heavier lube. I don't remember what I use for the center. It might be weight three. Don't get mad at me because I'm sponsored by Speed Cube Shop. I just haven't gotten around to buying a heavier lube yet. And then on the outside of the pieces, like near the torpedoes and on the like face of the piece, I use the inside face of the piece. Sorry, I don't, I don't lube the outside of my cube, guys. Um, the inside face of the piece, I use like a quicker lubricant. I use either speed cube shop Martian. Um, and then I've also been using their like winter peppermint lube, which smells like peppermint, which is really cool. Um, but that is how I lube my cubes. I can make a video later on if you guys are actually interested in seeing the process. Um, but I don't have any more time for questions. So leave your questions for next week and we will see you in the next one. Peace.